Sometimes you might want to return back to stock on the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. Now you do have the ability to just do a factory reset, but that won't give you a fresh version of the stock Samsung software. And that's what I want to show you how to do today. We're going to be using the Samsung Smart Switch application again. So to do that, we need to take our micro USB cable that's connected to the PC, plug it in, then we're going to swipe down from the top and tap on the USB charging option. And then we're going to tap on the file transfer option. Once the file transfer option is selected, we're going to launch the smart switch application. And then we're going to tap on the more button up here tap on the emergency software recovery and initialization option then we're going to tap on the device initialization option go ahead and tap on OK just know that whenever you do this all of your data is going to be deleted this gives you a little warning now this will tell you to remove any Google accounts that are attached to this device. If you do not do this, then you'll be required to sign into a Google account that was previously synced with the device. This is the factory reset protection. So if you're planning on selling your Galaxy S7, then you're going to want to remove the Google account attached to it first. Once that's done, we can just go ahead and click on OK. This gives us some information of what current version we're on and what version of the firmware we will be used. Since I already have the latest firmware, it, will, it looks the same, but if you're using an older firmware, then this will look different. Just go ahead and click on OK. Now this tells you that if you're rooted, it will fail but this will actually unroot your device too. This is just the blanket warning that comes up whenever you want to manually apply an update. From here you can choose to create your backup if you want if you haven't done that already. I'm just going to skip it for this video. Now the Samsung SmartWitch program is going to be downloading that firmware that it just showed you onto your PC. Depending on your connection speed and how fast you're downloading from the internet, this could take a while. I'm going to pause the video and then come back once it gets to the end. Alright, so now we're at the end. It has downloaded the software and then you're gonna see the Galaxy S7 reboot and see we rebooted into a downloading mode now what's happening here is the firmware that that smart switch just downloaded to the PC is now being uploaded to the Galaxy S7 just like before as you can see we have a progress meter up here and again I'm going to pause the video and come back once it gets toward the end so not only do we have a progress bar on the screen but we also have a progress bar on the Galaxy S7 Again, this is uploading the newly downloaded firmware 
the stock firmware from the PC to the S7. And this is why it's better than just doing a factory reset because you get a fresh version of the firmware and it can help bypass any kind of issues that were caused by that firmware. Alright, so we're at 100% now. The Galaxy S7 is going to reboot and Smart Switch is going to tell you to disconnect and then reconnect the cable. Then you can click OK on the Smart Switch screen and then you're done with the PC version of this. So now that the firmware is uploaded to the Galaxy S7, it's going to be installing it now. Once it gets done installing, it's going to erase some of the temporary data. It's going to be installing the system update. And then it's going to eventually reboot back into Android. We're going to get the normal boot animation screens. So we're going to have it for the Samsung boot animation screen. And we're going to see one if you have a carrier boot animation screen. We're going to see that one as well. See there's the Samsung one. And then here comes the carrier boot animation. And like I said, this is going to be just as if you pulled the Galaxy S7 out of the box. So you're going to need to set everything back up. You're not going to have any data on your device. But once you have everything set back up, you can connect it back to the PC. Launch Smart Switch. And then you can restore the backup you created there. And see, as you can see, we are back on the stock firmware with a fresh install of Android.